Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video I would like to talk about the Dark Brotherhood and whether or not it is worth it to beat the Dark Brotherhood in Oblivion. Now I have kind of completed the Dark Brotherhood. I got to the Night Mother statue, but I haven't actually researched what you do after her quests and I haven't done all of her quests, so take that into consideration. But I would say, first of all, that it is worth it to complete the Dark Brotherhood. And that's because, well, first you get access to the Khajiit, I don't know what his name is, but you get some really cool spells, just interesting spells, right? But the other thing is you get access, if you want to make a vampire, you get access to becoming a vampire. Very important. So I used to hate being a vampire in Oblivion. And then I made a character, a Khajiit, where I power leveled hand to hand. It wasn't. A, it was a minor skill, but I used hand to hand power level for strength, and I used a sword. Now, if you're a vampire, you know that your strength and hand to hand is buffed significantly if you're a vampire. So this Khajiit, I had an easy time power leveling hand to hand for my strength buff, and I also like the perks of being a vampire just because it kind of fits well with the Khajiit and what I was doing with him. So there's that. But my main thing. You, know, you got the vampire, you got the salesman. The main buff you get with the Dark Brotherhood Guild is all the items you get. All right. First of all, you get the most entertaining item in the world, the poison apple, which you can sell off for extra cash really fast. They have a spawn rate. You know, there's a hidden little doorway you can get into the fort that gives you poison apples. You can also buy poison apples if you really want to kill someone. You also get Sufferthorn, literally a blade that depending on the enemy it does more damage for me than umbra does like dps it's crazy with the buffs on it and you just get some cool items i mean the shroud hood i actually think i really like the shrouded hood not so much the uniform because it takes up like so many spots that where you could put other armor but i like the shrouded hood and i generally just like you know the quests are fun for me i can replay the quests and it's fun for me you know, fighting the pirate captain even is really cool. Or going through and killing the guy who mocked you in the prison. You know, those quests I feel, just killing everyone, are very unique to do. And very replayable, I would say. Now, you get the Night Mother, which, you know, you get people pray and you do the quests. I have not done those quests, so I don't actually know, you know, what it gives you I probably should actually play through those quests but just the Dark Brotherhood and all of the items you get off of it all of the cool gear just even the beginning parts of the quest line really are valuable It's valuable to do and it gives you just it makes you a better assassin if you want to make a character that's based on sneak and based on killing people with stealth. The Dark Brotherhood, I think as a guild, gives you the tools to do that. You know, you have the Thieves Guild. The Thieves Guild, you can sell stolen things, but they don't give you the tools to be a better thief. The Fighters Guild doesn't give you the tools to be a better fighter. The Mages Guild does give you the tools to be a better mage, right? So I would say that when it comes to building a character, even the arena makes you a better fighter. But when it comes to making a character a very specialized assassin, like pretty much a lightweight invisibility, I'm gonna sneak around, kill people, go back into the shadows and sneak around and kill them some more, that type of just pure assassin based on illusion and light armor and acrobatics and sneaking, and Blade, like that whole set right there, very good for the Dark Brotherhood Guild. So, in my opinion, you should complete the Dark Brotherhood Guild simply for the gear. If you have an assassin with illusion based and you like jumping around and using your environment and playing Oblivion more like it's Halo 3, then the Dark Brotherhood is even better for you. It is more fun and gives you the tools necessary to be that assassin. So that's it. I definitely think you should complete it. It's fun. It's fun too. It's replayable and it's fun. But that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. 
I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.